Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at how animals and plants adapt to the conditions in the tropical rainforest biome. This is part of Paper 1, Unit B, The Living World. Tropical rainforests are home to over half of the world's animal species and more than two thirds of global plant species. These species make various adaptations that enable them to thrive in the hot and humid conditions. Let's have a look at these now. We'll start off by talking about the leaves. Leaves in the rainforest have large surface areas to maximise photosynthesis. This is also helped by the flexible bases that enable the leaves to turn to face the sun. Most leaves have waxy surfaces and drip tips which allow the water to drip off the leaves quickly so they do not get waterlogged and rot. Trees also have smooth branches and trunks. The smooth bark on the tree enables water to flow down to the ground easily. Trees also have buttress roots. Many trees grow up to 40 to 50 metres high to reach the sunlight so they need to be anchored well. Buttress roots have massive ridges above the ground that support the base of the tree and help transport water from the soil. You can see an example of one on the screen. In the rainforest you will also find lianas. These are woody vines or creepers that are rooted to the ground but they twist around tree trunks to reach the sunlight right at the top. They also hang down from branches so they can be used by animals to swing between the trees. Finally, we have, have epiphytes. These are plants that sit on branches in the canopy to get maximum sunlight. They get their nutrients from water and air instead of the soil. The environmental conditions in the rainforest are challenging for animals yet they're home to over half of the world's species. So what adaptations are animals making to survive and thrive in this difficult environment? Let's start off by talking about birds, in particular species like parrots and toucans. These have brightly coloured feathers to attract mates, big strong razor-like beaks to crack open nuts, and long sharp claws to grip swaying branches. On the screen we have a picture of a poison arrow frog. These tiny creatures use their bright colours to warn predators that they are highly poisonous so they should be left alone. In fact indigenous tribes in the rainforest often use the poison at the end of their arrows when they are hunting. We also have sloths. They have long hooked claws that enable them to grip onto and hang from branches. They also have moss growing in their fur that helps to camouflage them and they move incredibly slowly to avoid being spotted by predators. And our final example is that of the many species of monkeys that you will find in the rainforest. These species of monkeys have prehensile tails which means that they can use them to grip things and for balance. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the many adaptations that plants and animals make in the rainforest. Thank you for watching.